people ask me, how do you do this? How do you sit down and study? Where, where do you get your discipline from? I have no choice. <sighs> Hello, everybody. It is, I'm sorry. It is 414 on sun, Saturday. The day is just blur when you're in quarantine. So I haven't left the apartment. I think I went and got some mail. This is my fifth day of COVID and school is about to really pick up. Um, we're doing biochemistry. The past two weeks, um, we had done orientation and health equity. So it really wasn't like anything super duper crazy. I mean, the work wasn't what you would expect from your first year of med school which like everyone says is like you know pretty intense so there's already stuff due on Sunday which is tomorrow and for some reason my school likes to do Sunday at 10 p.m. I don't know if they're trying to discourage the 11 59 p.m. rush but bring that back that's what we're doing so yeah we'll I'll make my schedule and I will start on the work that's due on Sunday so hopefully this will be like not the craziest thing I've ever seen, but it could. So let's get it started. I forgot to say I have the shower cap on my head because I'm deep conditioning my hair. Okay, I'm not about to get in the shower. I didn't forget it and while I was recording. I'm deep conditioning my hair all day because I have nothing else to do. And my hair is very dry. That's why I'm deep conditioning it because it needs moisture. I'm freezing because I have wet hair, but so yeah um let's really get started then okay so i'm going through and i got to monday for what i want my schedule to look like like i was trying to do it you know by hour i'm looking at all the stuff i need to do and as i'm adding things i'm realizing there's a self-assessment monday there's a self-assessment tomorrow which is sunday there's one on tuesday and there's one on wednesday that is a little bit worrying so i'm like writing stuff out kind of like going as i read it when i should read first right i should read first and then i should make my schedule so i'm gonna do that because I just wasted time when I don't even know like what my life is gonna look like. I'm going to pause, look at my life at large, come back, okay? So 30 minutes later, I went through every document, saw how many videos there were, tried to estimate how long it would take me to get through them, counting the videos, how many pictures there were, how difficult the material was, because I took biochemistry last year. I feel like I have a like okay idea of how long it's gonna take me to get it. And I even added some time as well, just to make sure that I wasn't, you know, overestimating how much I would either one remember to comprehend. It's going at a faster pace than it was before I had like a whole semester, whereas this is being condensed into a week. Yeah, it's two weeks basically, but whatever I'm learning in this week is a lot. <sighs> Which all this seems tedious and like maybe I should just start, but if I don't have a plan and like I don't know what I'm going to do, I feel like I'll be scrambling later on. So I'm going to try to do things differently. It's getting kind of dark. Too bright? Too bright? But yeah, I don't really know what I'm about to do for this plan, but I'm going to figure it out because... I have no choice. People ask me, how do you do this? How do you sit down and study? Where, where do you get your discipline from? I have no choice. I'm, I'm too far in. I'm too far gone, okay? Everybody wants to say it's because I love it. I love the grind. Like, I mean, most med students aren't going to say that to each other. But some people will sit up here and lie to you and say that they just love the grind. And while I love to learn, this in itself gives me anxiety to think like oh god this is a lot of stuff and like I like a challenge I like learning like so it, in a way it gives me some sort of excitement which is like sick but it also gives me anxiety so 
regardless, I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to quit talking to y'all because I'm just wasting time. And I'm trying to get back on my sleep schedule, which is like 10.30. But tonight it might be, what did I say it was going to be? Tomorrow since I'm waking up at 6, I want to be asleep by 11. And right now it is 5. Okay? So let's get it done. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Ooh, I almost dropped the camera, child. Today's the first day back. Going back to school, Annie and I are off house arrest, so... I think I'm gonna bring my camera to school today and just um, give y'all a chance to meet some of my classmates. So, yeah, it's gonna be a busy, busy day. Um, why don't you guys go around, introduce yourselves, okay? Okay, my name is Macy. Mm -hmm. I'm a first year medical student okay. from Southern California. Yeah, Cali girl, Tom. Hey, what's up, I'm Tom I'm from Buffalo, New York. <laughs> and what? Hi, I'm Elan. I'm from Oregon. MD PhD. Oh, MD PhD. I didn't know that, Elan. That's exciting. How did you guys feel about um, yesterday's big like workload? It took hours. It took, I'm out of oh, so you're like, done? No. Oh, okay. No, no, you got through Wednesdays. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still on Monday, <laughs> and it's Monday. You're stressing me out. You're like, I started Friday night. I was no, like, no, I no. I said, did anybody so start all. Friday yeah, night? Yeah. This is my TBL group, which is team-based learning. Everybody, go around and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Yasi. I'm Cyrus. Hi, I'm Neha. Taylor. Alex. I'm Clinton. Okay, and what's um our group name, y'all? Do you remember? Lucky 13, yes, because we're table number 13, yes. And Clinton, how far are you on your um, slugs? Not to put you on the spot, I'm not far. On my what? On your slugs. Uh, I have to do all the ones today still. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> how do you guys feel about the workload so far? Amos, hi. Uh, a little worried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely overwhelming. But I think they know that we know this. Yeah. So they're doing a lot. Okay, everybody, this is Grace. Hello. Okay, so I saw Grace in, where was it? We were in Walgreens. Walgreens. <laughs> Next to each other in line. Yeah, <laughs> we, were in, <laughs> we were in line together trying to get tested for COVID. I unfortunately got it. Hamani, are you also a victim of COVID? I am a victim of yes. the early ones. She was one of the early ones, and I was in Hamani's face all last week. <laughs> I was in Sasha's. I was in this group's face a lot yeah. last week. Our group did not fare well. No, and I love this group. Like This is one of my favorite TBL groups, <laughs> but unfortunately y'all all had COVID. Was the tickle in your throat real? Like, nope, okay, big. maybe placebo? Yeah, because I yeah. like every single day. Juan, oh, I want to give you a special shout out. Oh this my is my God. friend Juan. We've known each other for how long? Um, like a year and so No, months. no, that's not true. Since oh, no, sophomore we, year. Yeah. We were partners. Summer. Yes, remember? We yeah. had those, like the conjoined twins. And yeah, you, yes, we yes, were yes, conjoined yes. at one point. Yes, we were yeah. actually at birth. Hey y'all, it is 126 and we are studying for a module assessment test that we're gonna take. Um, it's myself, Annie, Takai is over there. Takai, wave at the people, soup's cute. Let me zoom in, okay. Anyway, so I'm on module or self, what is it? What do we call this? Slug. I'm on slug, Monday slug the third one out of four. The test is due at 10. Um, it's not a real test, yeah, right? It's just a learning assessment. Just a learning assessment and- uh, Knowledge assessment. Yeah, so just gonna take it, vibe out. How's everyone feeling? Eh. Yeah. Eh? Pretty good. Scale of one to 10? I would say a seven. Okay. Tom? Four. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's slow. Four. How you feel? How you feel about the slugs? Oh, I should lower it. Uh, six. Okay, one point. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> she's crazy. I would say a five. A five? Four, four still four. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give it also. I will say a five point five. Yeah. Yeah. Um, once I finish, hopefully I'm at a six and a half. But you're never confident in med school, right? Ever. That doesn't sound good, but you aren't, so. <laughs> good morning, everybody. I'm here with my roomie, Annie Johnson. 
Um, we had a really, I wouldn't say a rough day. It wasn't like a rough day mm. yesterday, but it definitely was a lot more than I expected. Yeah. And Monday was just super heavy. I think everybody was like, what is going on like with the workload? But definitely, that's the word. Overwhelmed, very overwhelmed. So here I have Mason and Sasha. Huh? <laughs> you thought it was a picture? It's definitely a video. You guys look crazy. Who wore it better? Do you guys want to vote or should we keep it like, you know? We don't want to know the Exactly, exactly. That was a test. It was a trick question. We would never ever try to say that. So what inspired your look? This is just my warmest hoodie and the library's freezing. Okay, okay. And what about you? It's pink is a good color. It, like, yeah, it surprises everyone. It does. Yeah, confidence. <laughs> you see confidence. You see, and shouldn't we be confident as future doctors of America? Oh, that's absolutely. absolutely. Hi, I'm Leah. I am feeling. Well, I was feeling scared. Then I put my boss said you should feel hopeful. Hopeful. Shift my mindset. Okay. Yeah, like we're adjusting. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like getting better. All right, you guys, I'm here with Neha Shabir and John Shao. Am I right? Ish? Okay. All right. So, right. so today you guys are twinning. What was your inspiration for your outfit? Literally neighbors. Are you? Yeah. An MSR? So did you guys knock on each other's door and say like, no. no. So Just by chance? But that's not how we met. So we met. Mason was sitting, Mason's his roommate. Mason's your, that makes so much yes. sense. I'm yeah. like, why? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so he was sitting next to me during our white coat ceremony, which got like totally screwed up. Yeah. Which you remember. Uh, <laughs> and then, so then Mason invited me over for a little like wine night. Mm -hmm. And then we met. Wow. Okay, good vibes. Good. Okay, this is my doctoring group. Dr. Charles, do you want to be featured? This is our our AME faculty development now. Oh, okay. Okay, we're out. We're out. That's mine. Okay. Yeah, you guys have already met Tom, unfortunately. What? No, just kidding. <laughs> You've met Sakaya briefly, but she's a little camera shy. This is Michelle, Mira, Hi. Kim, Clinton. You've met Clinton Hello. many times. And Steven, Hi. a big supporter of me and all of my endeavors. Of course. Um, look at Ayman. <laughs> okay, good morning. I woke up like two hours ago um, so that I could do some work. And I needed to do my laundry because it was like really the last possible day to do it so I woke up into my laundry and then I made myself some breakfast which took forever because our stove is like just our stove never gets hot so we have to wait forever for things to cook so it took me like 40 minutes to like make breakfast which usually takes me like 15 like it was really bacon eggs and toast and it took me 40 minutes just for the bacon to like get hot anyway so i didn't start like i wanted to but yesterday i had doctoring and doctoring um is three hours long so it took a big chunk i feel like out of my schedule plus we had a three hour long mandatory class which also took a big chunk out of the schedule that was six hours that i could have been studying reviewing whatever so we have a slug due today um which is a self-guided learning or self-learning guide so we have a slug due today and that's our last slug that's due during this week. So then on Sunday, I have one due, but that's I don't think that's released even until Friday or something like that. So either way, I have a little bit of time. And so by this weekend, I wanna finish all of my master notes, which means I need to finish five master notes by this weekend. And today I need to go over Wednesday stuff. Regardless, um, it's going to be a long week. It's not gonna be as fun and happy as, la well, COVID, I had COVID last week, so it wasn't really that fun and happy. But it was definitely, like, COVID was better than this, which is unfortunate. But I had a mild, mild, mild case of COVID, so I guess that's why. So, yeah, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go to the school today. We have a patient session, which I'm really excited for. And, yeah, it's going to be a really great day. And it's just, it's going to be a really great day. Hello, happy birthday! Yeah. Hold on. Everybody, sorry to interrupt, but today is Shiloh Dawson's birthday. Please stand, Shiloh. Yay! I'm like, 
we're gonna sing him happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday. I'm feeling like great today, guys. Um, I'm happy to be in the classroom. It's like the first day we're doing the lecture classroom yeah. since you've been here a third of the week. So I'm really enjoying it and being around, you know, a lot of lovely people. Um, everyone singing happy birthday just now was amazing, you know. I was very shy and embarrassed. My cheeks are hurting from yeah. smiling so much. <laughs> Annie's face is a little swollen because she's been crying. Say hi to Kaya as well. And we're just, yeah, Takai's washing dishes. They can't hear you because I have my AirPods in, but Annie, okay, thank you so much for this. But Annie's crying and um, <laughs> and she's really upset. And I was telling them like, you could be crying, okay? And you, it's only day three of med school. And these kids are playing Super Smash, what are they playing? These kids are playing Mario, um, what is this? Smash. Super. What made you guys want to stop studying and do no no shame of course. Uh, every day. Every day makes you feel like this. You want to give up every day at a certain point. Okay. okay. Let's see y'all. What inspired you guys to come to this optional discussion today? Like, did you know it was optional? No. You didn't so know. Sent the message last night. Yeah. It wasn't okay. Okay. Um, Which I heard I was wrong. She meant that. Well, we'll discuss later. Anyway, sorry. A lot. Yeah, I realized I was more confused than I thought. Yeah. Um, I'm the same translocation. Mm. Don't really get it. Yeah. Um, on the slug set last <laughs> night, you know, I didn't really do well. So okay. Okay. Fine. And you know what? I was in the study lounge last night. People were failing left and right. So pretty. yeah, everyone did like pretty bad. So. Don't feel bad about yourself. Uh, not that you do. I mean, the curriculum is past fail. So right, so. We're living our lives. We're living our lives. We're going out this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, we're going out this weekend. <laughs> we're going out every other week. Cause yeah, every, every other, other week. week. Right. Y'all, it is 1048. And the thing is, I want to go out tomorrow. Not like rage or vibes. Just like go out for like dinner and drinks. But... I need to do work in order to not feel guilty about going out. So, yeah. It'll probably take me like two hours. Uh, I don't like that. So I'm going to actually be very productive and that way it won't take me two hours. It'll take me like an hour and a half. I'm just going to work till 12. I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to work till 12. And whatever I get done, I get done. Hopefully I finish. So I have like an hour and 10 minutes to do this so i'm just gonna like speed through i shouldn't speed through but i am probably gonna speed through this isn't like a review for me this is like me making my review stuff a lot of people are doing anki and things like that and i'm not which like sometimes worries me because i'm like am i wasting time but we will see hopefully i'm not but it doesn't really give like it just doesn't give let's turn on this yeba and get to it. I'm done for the night um, I'm just gonna go to sleep it's 11 45 and I know I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow so I feel like it's just best for me to go to sleep right now 
and then that way I can like clean up my room a little bit before I go out do my laundry like I, I think the worst part about being in med school is that I'm 22 and I like am an adult so I have to do things like laundry I mean I did laundry before but I have to do things like cook and grocery shop and like all the things that I didn't really do before because I didn't live on my own or I lived in a dorm where it was COVID and I lived at home so like I feel like I'm taking on adult responsibilities right now as well as taking on med school so it's a little overwhelming sometimes but it's okay I'm like I feel like I say it's okay a lot but it is okay because there's literally nothing I can do about it so